Hello, Darkness Marriott friend. Uh, we have a Darkness Finance here for you guys. And I'm coming back to probably one of my favorite platforms in many terms, uh, Dark Crypto. I'm, I'm honestly in love with that platform but you know i don't want to marry any project i'm not going to exaggerate always spread the risk always diversify but what they they started as a tomb fork let's call it but how much work did they put in such a short time i think it launched in january we are what in in april now so three months past they added dark out so darkness which i'm gonna talk about right now dark verse you've got dark folio all this stuff and they're rolling out dark roll and also dark uh, dark vegas which are similar like gaming platforms i'm gonna probably cover in the future but uh, for now let's focus on what we have in hand so i'm as you know uh, quite nicely invested already in the uh, sky cro and dark cro uh, it's been amazing amazing the price was growing I think I almost doubled the money now in a month and I just keep on adding a little bit in auto compounds and it's simply amazing. So now let's get to darkness. Darkness is even better for someone that wants to stay safe because you are going to stake stable coin US dollar with US dollar uh, for 67 percent so if you go to dark crypto again the dark auto darkness here and you see this one this this firecracker here is the best one probably out of them all and i'm going definitely to zap in here in a second uh, i've got some balance i'm gonna show you now what's going what what is that more or less then we're gonna show you how to swap to that coin and stake it so let's get to the dock uh, i don't want to bore you because there is a lot of things actually going on here and they explained it really nicely. I don't understand all of it. I'm not going to lie. But if you want, go ahead and try it and 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 read through it, at least, especially if you want to, you know, invest um, your own money. That's very important for you to understand. But in general, uh, in general, in general, in general, we have a stable coin pegged. Usually when we have pegged coins like tomb forks and stuff like that to some currency and there's obviously problems with that because uh when it's pegged to when it's pegged to something like phantom or something and it goes down then obviously you are really really uh high chance of suffering <laughs> most of the tomb fork uh unfortunately lost the peg and that caused uh, you know people losing money because it stops printing and uh, the value goes down and we have you know a big big problem on our hands so um if it's pegged to fiat money like dollar it's not 100 percent decentralized and so we have this kind of problem what they want to fix here is they want to do it partially partially uh, collateralized partially not so darkness dollar first partial collateralized stable coin on chronos similar to frax design which is uh, also another stable coin with some good added benefits uh, so when it's uh, when it's if dusd this is their coin that we're gonna buy in a second and and stake is above the one dollar the protocol decreases the collateral ratio if it's below the peg below one dollar the, the protocol increases collateral ratio so yeah it's it's a bit you know of a complicated advanced strategies but obviously uh, in the end they have to maintain that peg so this one is important here the peg of that dusd uh, is going to be maintained to one dollar because because this is a stable coin and on top of it if you know they they have this this whole strategy to maintain that uh peg uh, it attempts to be the first stable coin on chronos to implement design principles of both entirely collateralized and purely algorithmic stable coin and we are aiming to yeah blah 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 uh let's let's show you the tokens here so because in dark in the normal dark crypto remember that we are we have dark coin which is the uh, the coin pegged to cro so this is the classic way of doing that and we got the sky coin which is like the shows the uh the, the value of the whole protocol like the shares you know the the potential of it that's why it's always very high much higher and the light is if it goes below the peg so now in this darkness finance we have with they they are using uh dark from the main 
main one from the uh, dark crypto as a as a sort of this collateral this pegged coin is the main utility token of dark crypto and dark verse its role here is similar to nest providing in and out system of collateral but this is pegged to cro the nest darkness dollar value share is like uh like that sky coin here is like showing the value of the of the protocol so in this case we have dark the dollar dusd and the nest that's why they created darkness so as you can see dusd as well so it's almost the same as the other one uh, with the difference of uh, the shares are is not sky but it's nest and we have also the dollar here dusd that we're going to be uh, staking here so this is what interests us most that's why we're gonna go through it this is important so dusd is stable coin pegged around one dollar partially backed by collateral like the US USDC, USDT and DAI. DAI is also like a dollar pack. So as you can see, it's partially back. So we can also fluctuate and partially it's backed by algorithmically by dark and nest. So the same as in the other case in the uh, dark uh, dark net dark and the uh, sky coins. And here they have dark and nest. Uh, so it depends on the market price of DUSD. At Genesis, the uh, CR collateral ratio is 90% and the protocol adjusts the collateral every once every hour by a step of 0.25%. When DUSD is above the peg, meaning the market demand for DUSD is high, the system should be in decolorized mode by decreasing the collateral ratio minimum to 70%. When the price of DUSD is below the $1, the function increases the collateral ratio maximum to 95%. So this is like the whole key. I, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not an expert in this. I'm not, you know, gonna tell you that I understand 100% what's going on here the idea is obviously to hold the peg as long as possible as much as possible and the peg here is one dollar and this coin is obviously uh, has higher chance to do it because it has that backing mostly backing from usdc usdt which are obviously uh, obviously stable coins so this is this in a nutshell that's why i'm super excited because uh, it gives you a very big apy i was showing you recently the sim the single what's what's what is called uh single finance where you had as well usdc with se over 70 percent but this was with leverage in here we have 67 percent without leverage just simple staking so i'm going definitely here in and let's see how how it goes and how much you know how much is going to continue growing so let's go to dark crypto dark auto we are here we can click on the darkness uh you know filter here and as you can see we've got that nest coin which is which has a huge apy so let's see you've got 1000 in a year you can make 78,000. this is obviously going to change as well we've got that very nice stables you dusd and usdc with 67 percent and this one is even you know more stable because uh, DAI, USDT and USDC which are even you know they are long on the market and they they were never like you know much big difference but you've got only 39 percent so i'm gonna go with this too definitely uh let's go zap in and we've got either cro or ness and i exchanged too much uh cro to the usd so let's go ahead i'm just gonna show you here um we're going to go yeah, there is no link here so go home and let's say or go to darkness finance and let's say we want to buy ness i'm gonna put the link down below but darkness is the same as crypto as you can see you can go the link is as well on top here and to dark crypto from darkness so just if you stuck somewhere just go here on top you will see it what we're gonna do is buy some nest we click on that and you've got cro i'm i was transferring from my crypto.com wallet you can uh bridge that with evo DeFi or uh, paper finance printer finance that's also a very good one printer financial where you have to just uh swap the coins to paper and then you can and then you can bridge it if you want to i need to make a video about it you can bridge it to any other 
network to CRO, but uh, I'm going to make a video. But let's go back here to swapping when you already have CRO, for example. And let's say I want to do 100, swap it to Nest, and that's it. Whatever we need, you know, we can simply swap it. Okay, that one. Okay, so it wants to connect to that printer financial. Okay, and now we'll get some Nest, and we're going to go here, dark auto back again darkness nest and zap in so it will be much easier so as you can see we already have that balance loaded up max if you do it with CRO we can do it with CRO as well I didn't even have to swap it but just remember to leave something for the fees uh, some I've seen here like fees sometimes 10 15 CRO so just leave I'm leaving like 70 just in case but I exchange to Ness and let's uh, deposit Ness and then we're gonna deposit the uh, stable coins if you want to you can only deposit the stable coins uh, a bit safer to start with 67% is still not bad and approve that is the go through fail try again all right guys you need to be very very patient with this i managed finally so there are three transactions i still have to do one just wanted to show you but it took a couple minutes metamask together with i don't know the chronos network or something really really uh slow really so many transactions rejected and didn't work and finally i made it also deposited here so what you have to do basically if you want to deposit in this one you need cro or ness like i showed you to exchange but probably would have cro if you want to deposit in this one you need either of them as you could see here you could buy it simply for example the usd and as well if you have for example cro you simply buy it once you have it you have to click on the zap in on the zap in here you have authorized authorized uh, approval that's the first transaction when you approve that you you can zap in what i did just now so if it doesn't work for example you've got like a weird balance change it to even numbers that's why i changed to 74 because it was 74 point and then this this thing maybe this affected then you can zap in and i did that zap in finally and once you zap in you will see your balance here this is already the balance of that pair that's why it's lower because zapping in means they simply take your CRO buy a sell half of it for Ness and create that liquidity for you so that's much easier now we can uh, now we can deposit that we have to approve again and again as you can see these numbers i'm gonna just delete it and leave it just 41 it's not gonna be a big difference we have to approve that it's going to go through again uh, so it's queued and the same process i did with this one and i managed to deposit in the end because yeah you need four transactions actually you need to and when you zap in you need to approve that then zap in then you've got the the balance and now we have to approve that and then again will be deposit i was even clicking to speed up maybe the network is so slow congested that if you speed up it increases the uh, gas fee a little bit more but at least you know it makes a higher chance for it to go through so this is the uh, the quirks of DeFi for you don't get discouraged you know either delete you know from the back the rest of the numbers sometimes they said to 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 at 1111 instead of these numbers weird weird stuff going on in DeFi, but you have to be uh, patient and calm and understand you know there's a couple steps and that's it uh, chronos network hopefully will explode this year and will have you know really good uh, returns from cro from ness from all that stuff so as you can see i already managed now it shows here approval successful but this button has to change to deposit the same as i had here deposit so let's hope it will in a second and yeah it changed now to deposit and like i said i'm gonna just delete the the last bits and only deposit 41 continue and again we have to go through this 10 cro in this one it was two and a half i don't know why this thing is so expensive it's like four dollars four or five dollars almost and let's see if it's going to go through finally all we have to see is the deposit jump into here okay so we have green finally maybe there was a congestion a couple minutes ago that's why i was struggling so much but but yeah, if you want to go for this one, safer. This one is huge APY, but obviously, uh you know this is other coins so this is the stable form i'm recommending all you have to do is get one of them the usd usdc zap in it will create for you and then and then when you zap in 
then you will see your balance here then you max it out and deposit and it will jump in here and deposit it so this one jumped in as well nicely here but i'm gonna you know recommend you start with this one the usd usdc very very stable pair 67 percent apy now you can see it's even resetting itself sometimes there is uh, huge problems probably congestion on the network but it's always there don't worry so this is dark crypto darkness finance thank you for watching